Okay, anyone who knows me knows I'm extremely impatient. So I'm making coleslaw today in a Vitamix. I put in chunks of cabbage. I float it. I put enough water to float it. Turn it on and then hot. Once more. That's it. And now I strain it. If there's anything that didn't get made small, I put it back. Meanwhile, I will rinse this off. Has anybody ever noticed cabbage has a really nasty taste sometimes? Well, I notice and I can't stand it. But in the Vitamix, I don't know, maybe it just scares the hell out of this taste. Here we go again, second batch. Turn it on. And there we go. Here's the third batch. It's a small head of cabbage. Turn it on. One. Two. I do the same thing with the carrots, and this is cabbage heart, just diced up because it's hard like a carrot. And that's what I do. And then I will throw that in the strainer. Beautiful. And thing I do is garlic. As you know, we love garlic. I'll put some water in it. Okay. This is really a lazy way to do it, but it's the only way I'll eat cabbage. Okay, we had some chopped up onions from the other night with chili, so I just added some more to it. We're going to do it again. And we'll strain that. Then I got to do jalapenos. Be right back. Okay, jalapenos in water. And because we had some jalapenos that were going bad, Dagny cut the bad spots off. See all that membrane? That means these are going to be hotter than hell. So, I will blend them in the Vitamix, and then I'll put them in their own strainer and let them drip. I will not put them where I have to squeeze it out, and I'll explain all that in a minute. things. I don't know. That's what I do. Whew. Smell them jalapenos. And I get everything out. If I get my face in this, I'm cutting it out. Okay. Now see? There's some foam in that. <coughs> Just a bit. And that will rinse out in a minute. I'm not going to rinse them out because I don't want to dilute the taste. I would imagine there are a lot of ways to do this. I just put some in my hand. I have a open spoon here. And I just squeeze it. You could just squeeze it if you want without that. I imagine a tortilla press might work good. Maybe a sausage stuffer. I don't know. But that's what I do so we don't have a soggy, wet mess. 
So I'll bring you back when I make our sauce for this because it's not normal. <laughs> Nothing is normal. For those of you who are wondering what the hissing is in the background, I am pressure potting. Like a pressure cooker, but it's not. It's a fry pot. Uh, ribs. I'll show you those when they're done, too. Okay. What I have done, yeah, I've squeezed everything out, like I told you, and I have stirred it a lot to break up any chunks of batches of onion or garlic I might find. Those don't want to separate real well. But that's what I did. Gotta put cilantro. How much? I'd say a, at least a quarter cup. It calls for a, a quarter a bunch. bunch. So a half a bunch. I'm doubling this recipe, so we're both confused over my recipe. So, tell me where. That's good. I think of maybe, a bit. yeah, let's go for it. The more we use, the Thank more you. it can dry. Yeah. We got a restaurant supply here that's called Shamrock. And sometimes we can buy like 10 pounds of beautiful clean green onions and we'll dice them up and dehydrate them. Or five pounds of cleaned diced onions already and we'll just throw them on the dehydrator. So what I have here in the Vitamix now is our liquid for this. Dagny will read what it takes. So Morgan's dressing, she's doubled the recipe as we have everything else that has three teaspoons, oh six, sorry, six teaspoons of sugar, otherwise known as two tablespoons. We have. Can we not make it complicated? A, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of olive oil, one cup of... That's a light olive oil, by the way. Yes. And a... Or canola. Cup of vinegar, not white. <laughs> uh, apple cider vinegar. And a pinch or two of pepper. And we use pepper medley. That is delicious stuff. We have days that we start cooking in the morning to be done before noon, like today. And it's done. Have you ever noticed sometimes leftovers are better than the meal? So we make things in the morning, put them away, <laughs> and by dinner time they're like leftovers and they're delicious. And cooking is out of the way. Now Dagny's going to get a spoon or a fork and she's going to try this. My recipe always changes. Mm. She just went cross-eyed, gave me two thumbs up and rubbed her chest. Mm. I think it's okay. Very good. Excellent. Try it again. Enough jalapeno? Yes. And everything else? Yep. Mmm. Love it. Suck the juice right out. <laughs> so the dressing's fine too. Well, you heard it here first. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it away and we're done with this video. All I gotta do is go over to the fry pot if Dagny moves. I'll go over there, I'll take the ribs out, I'll drain the juice, or I'll drain the ribs, there we go, and the juice will get set aside to cool. And after it has any grease on it that settles hard at the top, we will skim that off, and we have juice for our next batch of something. <laughs> Don't waste the broth. Never waste the broth, unless it's really gross, but I make great broths. Okay, here we are. 
dinner, finally. Those are our ribs. And that is our coleslaw. And it looks delicious. It tastes delicious. Thank you for watching.